How cute is this fuzzy cardigan? Yes, it's crocheted. And yes, I'm gonna show you how to make it. While this is a beginner friendly pattern, this right here is not a beginner friendly yarn. All these fluffy big bird vibes come at a cost of not being able to see your stitches while you're crocheting. So be forewarned, if you're gonna try this pattern with this or any of the suitable fuzzy yarns I've linked down below, you're flying blind. So if you can't crochet with your eyes closed, you might wanna opt for a smoother, bulky five weight alternative like Bernat Velvet, which I will be demonstrating with in this video so that you can actually see what I'm doing. And along the way, I'll pop in tips for working with these fuzzy faux fur yarns. So let's have a brief overview of the construction of this cardigan and why it's so great. It's worked from the top down, so we'll chain a small number of chains and increase stitches at specific points in the row to grow the back, sleeves, and front at the same time. Then when we get the length we need for the underarms, we'll separate out the sleeve stitches, which is a lot easier than it sounds. Then you can crochet the body and sleeves separately to any length you want, making it a really versatile pattern that you'll love having as a base to add your own personal touches to. So I think it's time to finally start crocheting, don't you? I'll make the small medium size, and I'll have the numbers on screen for additional sizes up to 3XL. And to follow along with the written pattern, check out the links down below to a free PDF download over on my website. I'm starting by chaining 48 chains with a 6.5mm crochet hook. This pattern is worked in half double crochet, and starting chains don't count as a stitch. And what that looks like is we'll skip the first chain and make one half double crochet into the second chain. And fuzzy yarn tip number one is to place a marker in that first stitch, because when we come back to this stitch on the next row, it's really easy to miss. So the marker will help me know right where it is. Now it's already time for our first increase, and this is true for all sizes. To do that, we'll make one half double crochet, chain one, and make one half double crochet all in the same chain. And with the fuzzy yarn, you might wanna mark this chain space as well because we'll work the increase on the next row right into that chain space. Next, we'll make one half double crochet in each of the next 12 chains. So there's one, there's two, and we'll do this for 12 stitches total. These 12 stitches will eventually become one of your sleeves. So I've worked 12 and into the very next chain, work an increase by again working one half double crochet, chain one, one half double crochet, all into that same chain. And I'm going to mark that increase as well. And now we'll work 17 half double crochets and this section of stitches will become the back of our cardigan. Once you've worked 17, make another increase and then work another set of 12 half double crochets to mirror what we did at the beginning of the row. With two chains left, make one more increase, and one final half double crochet stitch into the last chain. and I'm marking him just like the first stitch of the row. And that completes your setup row. Let's see what we've got. These first stitches will grow to become the front of the cardigan. Then this section is a sleeve, this is the back, and this is the other sleeve. On row two, we'll begin growing these sections and we're gonna chain one and turn, not counting the turning chains as a stitch. So work one half double crochet right into that marked stitch and I'm gonna immediately move that marker up so I don't lose track of that first stitch. And we're gonna actually work one more half double crochet in the same stitch to increase. 
because this little stitch is going to grow row after row into the front of our cardigan, giving us a little v-neck action. Then my instructions say to work one half double crochet in each stitch from the previous row up to the first chain space. On row two, there's only one stitch before the next chain space, so go ahead and work one half double crochet into that stitch. Now I'm at my first chain space, and it's time to work an increase. Work one half double crochet, chain one, one half double crochet, all into that chain space from the previous row. And you can move your marker up to the new chain space, if I can get it out of my stitches. Continue making one half double crochet in every stitch from the previous row up to the next chain space. And work one half double crochet, chain one, one half double crochet increase in each chain one space from the previous row. Continue like this for every stitch and every chain space And when we work up to the very last stitch clearly marked, you can put two half double crochets into that last stitch. And mark the very last stitch that you complete. Now you can just repeat that row, two half double crochets in the first and last stitches, one half double crochet in each previous stitch, and one half double crochet chain one, one half double crochet in each chain space from the previous row. You'll repeat that until you've finished your seventh row. Then you can stop working two half double crochets in the first and last stitches, and instead just work one half double crochet at the beginning and end of rows. But it's still super helpful to mark them. And that's why I use two different markers, so that I know that the orange ones mean to increase, and the purple ones don't indicate an increase anymore, they're just for marking the first and last stitches. So continue as before without increasing the first and last stitches, but continuing your sleeve increases for a total of 16 rows. Now it's time to separate out the sleeve stitches, which is actually so easy. I've got my little pentagon shape here, and what we're working towards is to get it into this configuration where this marker meets this marker, and this marker meets this one, and now you can see a more familiar cardigan shape. And I'll show you how we get there. We'll start the row how you normally would, with a chain one and a half double crochet in each stitch. I'm continuing to mark the first stitch. and I'm going to work one half double crochet in each stitch, working up to that first chain space. And when you get up to that first chain space, work one half double crochet right into the chain space, chain two, and work one half double crochet all the way over here, right into the next chain space, skipping all these stitches in between, because these skipped stitches will now become your sleeve. So I'm gonna work one half double crochet right into the next chain space, and the chain two behind me here now marks the underarms. Now I can keep working along these stitches here, making one half double crochet in each stitch. And you can kind of see how if I continue crocheting, I'm working along the back of the cardigan. 
And when I work up to the next chain one space, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. One half double crochet in the chain space. Chain two. One in the next chain space, skipping all the stitches in between. Now I can go on to finish my row, working one half double crochet in each remaining stitch. And now when I work half double crochet back and forth in rows, I'm not working any sleeve stitches, just the front and back of the body of the cardigan. I can work until it's as long as I want, and this part is pretty straightforward, but I do wanna show you what it looks like when we work up to those underarm chain stitches that we just made. Each of those chains will need a half double crochet. You can work into the chains themselves, but I actually prefer to work under the chain like this. It's a little less fiddly. But we will give each of those chains one stitch, and now you can continue on working in every stitch available back and forth to add length to the front and back of your cardigan. And for the same proportions of my little cardi, you'll work 14 more rows after the sleeve separation row. Then it will be time to fasten your yarn back onto the sleeves to add a little length to them as well. And I like to fasten onto the last sleeve stitch from before we separated the sleeves. You can find it by following your chain one spaces here, down to the last one. Find one of the stitches that was part of the increase of the last chain one space and fasten on there. I'm gonna chain up one and work my first half double crochet right into that stitch. And continue putting one half double crochet in the next stitch. And I can just work in each of these stitches. It's very clear to see where to put your stitches. No guesswork, we're just crocheting into every sleeve stitch. And when you get to those underarm chains from when we separated out the sleeves, we'll put two stitches there again. Since we worked around the chain two space before instead of into the chains, I'm gonna work my two stitches next to the stitches I added to the body that are upside down here. If you'd worked into the chains, you'll be working into the underside of the chain right here. And when I've reached my first stitch of the round, I'm going to slip stitch into that stitch to complete the round. And you'll continue in rounds from here. But if I don't turn my work every round, the stitch pattern will look a little different than the body where we were turning our work every row. On the fuzzy cardi, that didn't really matter because you can't make out the stitch pattern anyway. But since the velvet stitches are a little more visible, I'm going to chain one and turn my work and work one half double crochet in each stitch back the other way now. And if you get any gaps in the underarms, we can close those up with a little bit of yarn when you're all done and weaving in your ends. So again, I'll just work around and around until my sleeve is as long or as cropped as I'd like. A couple little finishing thingies. I added this little tie front, which is just two simple chains tied on right about where we stopped increasing the V-neck. And to keep the sleeves and the body from flaring out at the bottom edge, I skipped every couple of stitches when I worked my last row on the body and the sleeves. I wouldn't recommend that on anything but the fuzzy yarn because it might look kind of weird. You'll get gaps in your stitches. But for the unfuzzy yarns, it'd be a great spot to add some front post, back post ribbing or any other kind of edge or border. And I'll have links to some suggestions in the description box below. So there you have it. A fun, easy way to crochet a little fuzzy cardi, and really a top-down crochet sweater blank slate for you to do whatever you want. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to check out the description box for all the goods, 
and I'll see you next time. Bye!